So you want to become a professional gaming content creator? Well, I get this a lot, so I decided to make a video about it. I've made similar videos in the past, but let's delve a little bit in deeper into what it takes to be a professional gaming content creator. Specifically, this isn't for influencers who are on Instagram necessarily. You might be able to take a couple of tips out of this for that, but this is specifically for gamers, so let's hit it. This video is sponsored by every single one of the sponsors that are, are with my channel. If you guys check the top right hand corner of this video, which is on that side, that side, you'll find a whole bunch of bugs. There are links in the description. If you want to support the channel, make sure that you click on those links. I'm seriously grateful for those sponsors and they play a big role in a weird way in what I'm discussing with you guys today. So I get this question a lot, especially when I go to conventions like Insomnia, or, uh, or rage or whatever the case is people come up to me and go like how do I do what you're doing what they mean is they mean how to become a gaming content creator they're not saying how do I become an influencer or how do I become uh, somebody that's popular on Instagram they're asking me how do I do your job so what is my job a lot of people think that it's me just sitting and playing games and for a large part of it it is but that's only a fraction of the pie of what I'm actually doing. What we do on this channel and on Twitch is essentially a business. This whole space is a business. There are sponsors that pay the bills uh, and they want to talk to you guys. So I help facilitate them to do that. And in a way, try and make them give value back to you guys. I always say that in my pitch meetings is that if a brand is not adding value to the audience, which is you guys, then there's no real point in working with them. So sometimes we try to organize specials that people can uh, get involved with. And I'm actively involved with that stuff as well, just so that when you click on a link and it goes somewhere, it's of value to you. And that's, easy. my cat is just, come here, come. And that's the, the ultimate goal for me is to make sure that you guys are getting something really important and very valuable out of uh, the sponsors that are on this channel. And I've mentioned this in a previous video, but in order to do this full time, you need an income. That income's got to come from someone. It either comes from your viewers or sponsor. In my case, it mostly comes from the sponsors on my channel. So when you guys support my sponsors, you are indirectly supporting me. That's why we do squad damage and a whole bunch of other things like that, where I can reward you or give back to you guys for supporting my sponsors because it keeps my channel alive. Think of it as a Patreon, but you get to walk away with a cool headset or a, a mouse or something. That's a healthy way to look at supporting sponsors for content creators that you like. So it's like a circle of life, right? I get to talk about stuff from brands that you might not have heard about before. You can make the decision whether you want to support them or support the channel in any particular way and buy them. And then they, in order, pay me to do that. That's essentially my business model. That is not the only business model when it comes to this space. And I think this is something that we need to talk about. If you want to become a content creator, you need a business plan. You need something that helps you with that circle. Money comes in, I get to do what I like, it benefits the people that are paying the money and the circle goes round and round. So I've let you in a little bit into my business model and how I work and a big part about being a gaming content creator is to just be transparent. A lot of the drama that's happened in uh, the YouTube space and the content creator space over the last like 10 years with gaming content creators has predominantly been because people haven't been transparent. That's really important to me that you guys know what's going on, that the brands know what's going on. I even include on my side, and this is something you guys might not know, live analytics for my sponsors to look at so that there's, even if there's a downturn, I'm not lying about how many people are coming through to my channel. If, if the views are low, we can discuss it and we can work Look how wide it's doing that. That's what this platform's about. Everything's changing all the time. And it's a challenge. That brings me to my next topic. Be passionate about the process. The process isn't just about playing video games, which is what a lot of people think, or being good at them. This is my favorite part of what esports players do. They go, yo, I'm I'm amazing at CSGO. Give me a headset and why would a headset try and give you a headset if you're really good at a game? That doesn't make any sense. What are they getting out of it? They're losing money, giving you something for free. You should be buying the headset so that you can improve your game, but you need to offer some kind of trade value that they get out of it, right? So that it's valuable to them financially. So the process is not only just playing the games, it's also producing the content, chasing the algorithm, and finding clients or working out what the business model is. All of those things are actually one big, thing. Of course you cannot be passionate about some parts of the project or less passionate about uh, certain segments of the pie, but I've always said this. If you're not passionate about it at a hundred subscribers or a hundred views, you will not be passionate about it at a million views and you'll feel 
just as empty as as you were when you started. So you get it? You, get, you understand what I'm saying? You can be great at games, but if you don't like editing a video, you're probably not going to have a very interesting channel, or you're not going to enjoy it. Here she is. Hi, say hi to everybody on a green screen. Look, look, there. there. Look there, look there, look there. <laughs> She's the best. She's literally the best. I gotta work now. Daddy's gotta work. I'm passionate about you, but we gotta do this. All right, I can't emphasize that enough. You've gotta be passionate about it. If you've identified that you've got the hustle and you're passionate about gaming content creation and you wanna see your YouTube channel pop and you love just doing it, even if it's just like five of your friends and you wanna make content for them, that's amazing. Focus on what you're good at. So there's lots of different kinds of gaming content. I challenge you to go to the homepage on your YouTube channel to find out what kind of gaming content you actually currently consume. And you'll see there's lots of different types. There's like top five lists, lists there's um, highlight montages, there's uh, Fortnite news, there's uh, Apex news. There's a whole huge swaths of genres of gaming content online that uh, you can identify which you probably prefer the most. If you're good at one of those things, that's even better. So you can find out that like, hey, I'm really good at writing scripts for top 10 lists. Then something along the lines like this, like I can, you can talk to the camera like this. This would be great for you to do. What's my cat doing? Like destroying the house. If you're more interested in streaming, maybe highlight montages are what's good for your YouTube channel. But then again, those might not do very well for you on YouTube. You might not be getting a lot of traction on that space with highlight montages. You might actually have a skill that you don't really know. I recommend experimenting, finding out what that thing is that you're really good at, and then focusing on it. In business, in marketing, it's called your unique selling point or your USP, right? That thing is the thing that people come to you for that they don't go to anybody else. For example, if there's like a, there's a washing powder that we bought the other day that just uh, uh, keeps black clothes looking blacker, right? Now that's a unique selling point because not many uh, washing powders out there do that. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't even think that other washing powders don't until they brought out this product. That's that brand's USP. So what's yours? Don't limit yourself to one platform. So even if you're good at streaming and you are pumping out a bunch of Twitch videos and your audience numbers are popping over there. Start diversifying into something like YouTube because you never know what's gonna happen with firstly the platform. Is it gonna implode? I've worked for a company that uh, when I first started in digital video, they kind of imploded. They were digital video and uh, a company bought them out and that was it disappeared never to be working with that platform ever again and the same thing if you think you youtube or twitch is immune to that it's not these people are literally just running businesses and anything can happen overnight especially in digital and social media so do not just stick to either twitch or youtube diversify see what you can be uploading to instagram see what you can be doing to uh youtube what kind of what genre of content are you uploading there that's different to what you're producing on twitch uh, it's very good for you to identify all those things so if one does implode hey you've got another one as backup so that you've got actually an actual career and then if the algorithm changes which has been happening regularly and you're used to your content doing well for a certain reason and it just suddenly tanks which is what's happened to a lot of really big youtubers you've got something to fall back on on another platform and a ways to collect your feet again to get used to the new algorithm uh, it's important that you get familiar with algorithms and work out what's actually going on there and lastly it's not for everybody. If the idea of this interests you, it doesn't mean that this is something that you're built for. And I know a lot of people are probably gonna be like, follow your dreams, just do what you wanna do. I think be re realistic with yourself. Work out if you are uh, good enough to do this. I don't like saying that phrase, good enough, because you're probably gonna doubt yourself. But be objective. Find friends that are looking at your content and going like, yes, no, maybe, I got you, these are how you improve. And then don't be shy if it doesn't work out. I think that's another thing. A lot of people are scared because they'll go like, it didn't work out and I, I failed. You didn't fail. You learned how to edit. You learned how to put together a live stream. You learned the technicalities of it. There might be other aspects of this business that are going to push you forward 
as an individual and as a content creator and as a business person later on in your, in your life. I know many people that are music teachers that are doing streaming in the evenings just to make some extra bucks because they teach during the day and the Twitch uh, supplements their teaching. They learn new songs while they're doing that and they teach the students uh, during the day, which is a great use case. I know video editors like Frankie who edits these videos. He uh, will sometimes live stream himself editing one of these videos or some wedding videos that he does. And that helps generate extra revenue for that content creator and just understanding your gear. Hey guys, um, it's Frank here. I just want to quickly interject here. Um, hopefully Grant won't mind too much. Um, I just really want to follow up on the point what he's saying here. I know he's using me as an example and that's why I feel like I can quickly interject. Inter inter interject. The point um, Grant is making here has like real world implications. He's not just saying it for the fun of it. Um, and I feel like I am um, the perfect example for that. And I'm guessing that's why he used me as one. I taught myself how to edit video um, by editing video game videos. Uh, for my own YouTube channel and uh, yeah my YouTube channel didn't really go the way I wanted it to um, and it kind of just fizzled out but but through that experience I gained a lot of skills with um, video editing and then I started uh, branching out into different kinds of videos I didn't do gaming videos anymore for my YouTube channel but now I'm doing wedding videos for other people and in that regard I'm still in the same kind of industry and you you, you pick up skills by doing content creation that you can apply to um, different parts of the uh, industry and I feel like that's exactly what Gron is trying to say, say here um, for example, I started editing videos like these. Left me hollow, so I burn my halo bone. Pick up all that angel dust. Why that shit too dang? Bop it, little run, jump off for the sun. Bop it. Why you be all in my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a nigga who lying for nothing. I see that we different, you ride and I double. My dope with discussions, don't brag about honey. And then I took the skills that I learned from, from those, which is basically the same thing, and then I started editing wedding videos like these. Push your arms around my I've got a different stream of income from that. But yeah, what Grant is saying here um, really does make a lot of sense. Um, so yeah, sorry for interrupting, back to the video. So it's never a waste of time to do this. Learning the gear, understanding how streaming works, working out if you're good in front of camera, maybe that leads to like some TV gigs. Uh, I, I know Mark Fitzgibbon, uh, he'll probably kill me for using him as an example. He does have a YouTube channel, but he went into radio after doing YouTube. Uh, and that was a great, like, career for him because that's a sustainable income that was coming in he got to be himself and be funny and uh he was not good at performing, and that's a South African content creator. Obviously not a gaming content creator, but getting into content creation can open up those doors. Also, it can open up doors in the gaming industry for you. There's some, some content creators have started streaming and have started businesses, like uh, Arsenal.gg. Uh, Scoffino started that, uh, and he's no longer a streamer, but has got like a really exciting uh, analytics business for streaming, because he understands the platform and has formed another business out of it. Do you see where I'm going with this? It's not as linear as you think. It doesn't get easier. So if you don't think that the beginning stages are pleasant for you, you don't like the process, if you don't think that you can put together a business model, it's not necessarily for you. This is not necessarily a sustainable business for you. But that said, starting it and learning those things and understanding those things aren't failing. That's understanding who you are and making yourself a better person, equipping yourself for to do this stuff better. If you learn how to edit, there are tons of editing positions out there for TV shows in South Africa. It's a competitive market. A lot of people need editing work. There's like Frankie, there's, there's wedding videos that's extremely lucrative and you could be doing that. So my question to you is, do you fit those criteria? If you were coming up to me at a convention or something and we're like, how do I do what you're doing? Do these questions help tick that box? Do they help answer it? Like, I think it's scary and potentially nerve wracking to hear this kind of stuff. It's not a comfortable answer. Uh, it's not very clear cut. And I think it's very much like most of our careers in this space. If you're not prepared for that, I don't think this industry is good for you. So work it out. Is this something that you want to do? If you do tick all those boxes and you have a channel already, please link it down below. I'm going to try approve uh, YouTube automatically like block those kind of comments, but I'm gonna try approve all of those links. Uh, and if this helps you out in any way, let me know. I'm gonna be jumping into the comments and trying to help you guys out in, in wh whichever way I can. I'll see you guys in another video. I'll catch, catch me on Twitch if you can. Uh, I'm gonna be streaming there, probably gonna be streaming now when you watch this video. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Oh,